So we had to rely on the pink fur apples, which didn't work at all. Just horrible. Right, just finished work, an early shift there. Boy, them, <laughs> them four deers, far, sharp fly you over. Let's get a new allotment. So you know my favorite potato is the pink fur apple. Well, and I've like, I'll class that above anything. Do you know what I mean? I just, it, I, I love it. You know what I mean? So versatile, everything. Well, it's not, not bloody versatile at all. It can't make mashed potato. So as you know, last year or this year, should I say, grew me potatoes in these tubs, which are marvelous, but I've also cut out now the holes and I'm just getting my head round, you know, the potatoes for, for next year because everyone's eating the bloody potatoes. Normally, it's just me that eats the potatoes m most of the time. But for some reason, and you see my big basket, you know what I mean? And this basket has been full of potatoes. And look at it, it's, it's almost empty. So, we, we, well, I grew a couple of different varieties. The Desiree and, my, like I say, my favourite, pink fur apples. And they just don't make decent mashed potato. So what I'm gonna do anyway is, the end of the thing, I'm gonna lift me Christmas potatoes because I've got a feeling they're pathetic as well. So let me just get them out for the time being. Oh. So my store of potatoes is basically gone and the Desiree made some great potato, like mashed potatoes, but the, the pink fur apples, we had them. Remember I was saying, my son's coming back and I was coming up for the veg and everything like that. When I mashed the, the, the pink fur apples, it, as if it was like far too much starch, it, it almost like, wall, went with like wallpaper paste. Do you know what I mean? And I've never had to do that because normally we have like a, a little bit of the normal, say, russet potatoes or something like that. And then these pink fur apples are left for other people, or for me, just to kind of gobble, me, you know what I mean, eat myself. And we've used them all up. Everybody's wanting the mash. The kids are loving the mash. And it's like, ah. Oh. So we had to rely on the pink fur apples, which didn't work at all. Just horrible, to be honest. So I put in the, the comments today about what potatoes make good mash, because I want to try something different. So I put a little post on, on YouTube for some folks there, and I haven't got my glasses on, but a couple of folks there who was said, Isle of Jura potatoes make good ones. So I might try them. I want to know what potatoes, I know, you know, kind of russets and Desiree, and what, what is Maris Piper is, Jamie Oliver, his favorite one is the Maris Piper for making mashed potatoes. But I'm admit, is there something special, like I say, Isle of Jura I never heard of? <laughs> To Ben, round ones, oh Ben, is that the best you can do? So these ones were, if I'm right in remembering, there were Charlottes, but I only ended up getting the one tub of the Charlottes, so let's just see what I've got. I planted them on the 13th of the 8th and I used yellow permanent marker that didn't work. <laughs> So you're wondering why am I doing it now? Well, I've got a, a I've got a feeling these are pathetic, to be honest. And I might as well just because I don't want to rely on Christmas Day <laughs> and come up the allotment in a zero. So let's crack these open, and I'll use this pot to put the the gigantic hoard in. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Now, I knew there would be little, and that's, you know, that's all right, but I'm, I'm suspecting there's not that many. And it's probably one portion. Here we well, if I'm honest, that's better than what I thought. Way better than what I thought. So, I'm, I'm kind of chuffed with them. I thought, to be honest, I thought they'd be a little bit like that. But no, no, I mean, yeah, it's still just one portion. <laughs> but I think we'll have them tonight. I think I'll just scatter that waste soil here. These beans are not doing anything. <coughs> Do 
to be honest, that's cheered us up because I was a bit flat and I was thinking I'll lift them and make myself even more flat. But they're all right, to be honest. Like, and why I was flat, we've just found out we're in tier three when we come out of this lockdown. So I don't know what yous are in, what are yous in? I, it just seems like we're going to catch no break with this bloody COVID. It's just dragging on and on and on. Are you using tier three? Are you using? Let us know as well, because I know I use all the kind of comment and that, and I love to read them. So look after yourselves. Take good care.